Autism is the fastest growing developmental disease or rather disability in the U.S. 67 children a day diagnosed. Yeah, and the very latest numbers show that it's really a growing problem right here in the natural state. Because of that, KNWA's J.R. Davis dedicating the next four weeks to a special series. Part one begins right now with J.R. joining us live in the newsroom with much more. J.R.? Yeah, guys, on paper, the word autism by itself is pretty easy to comprehend, a disorder which affects the brain's ability to properly socialize and in many cases function normally. However, when you assign a name and face to this particular disorder, like Cameron Leishman, it's completely different. In the words of Cameron's father, John, when you meet one child with autism, you meet one child with autism, meaning no two cases are the same. So in order to really understand it, one would need to spend some time with a family who lives it every day. And earlier this week, I had that opportunity. <laughs> a normal day for the Leachman family begins early each morning with most of the attention on their seven-year-old son, Cameron, who was diagnosed with autism at the age of three. Cameron's up uh, six, between 5.45 and 6 o'clock every morning. There are, there are mornings that he decides to wake up much earlier but never any later, um, even on weekends, unfortunately. The first hour of the day is, uh, is always the most challenging. It's, um, it's when his focus seems to be at its at its least. Cameron and his older sister Maya are usually out the door by about 7.20 every morning along with their mother Lisa who takes them to school. After mom leaves Cameron's day kicks into gear from general education like spelling and math to music and art accompanied by a variety of therapies behavioral physical speech just to name a few and the quote unquote bad days make the routine much harder for Cameron as well as everyone around him. The bad days are when he just is, is completely out of his element and and um, doesn't want to in any way do anything other than you know what he wants to do. That usually leads to you know behavior outbursts, crying, or sometimes unfortunately physical aggression towards himself or others. So. After school lets out, it's John's job to pick the kids up and take them home. And while many families practice what they consider to be daily routines, in the Leachman house, it's literally a way of life. We come home. We do specific homework. He works on the same things every day. Um, and, and then we, we have a very, very typical routine Monday through Friday. The entire afternoon is mapped out for Cameron on a calendar in his room, and he follows it to a T. First, homework. We'll try again. Do it. No, add it. Do, do it. Do it for anything. For anyone. Yes. Good job. Always, baby. Most. Good job. All right. What's next? Then the not so easy task of assigning Cameron a puzzle. Cameron. Uh, I, Sage, I Sage and Diego. Okay. Uh, Do you want <laughs> which one? Okay. Thank you. And playtime. Cameron likes to have the same things happen at the at the same approximate time. There was a time in our life when we couldn't even take an alternate route to school. Um, you know, we had to do the exact same stop at the exact same stop sign. And Since then, John and Lisa have worked with Cameron to help him become more flexible with his routine. It's basically giving Cameron uh, as much foresight into what his day will be as possible. And that's, you know, nothing, nothing sh should ever come as a surprise for him. Um, and, and so we spend a lot of our days giving him the what's next before we do the what's next. On the other hand, Cameron's routine isn't the only thing he likes to keep familiar. Little things like uh, every door and every cabinet and every room being shut uh, upon his exit to the book that you know that we read, the prayer that we say uh, before dinner uh, and before going to bed. Um, all those things are, are very routine driven. Then again, John says some of the most trying times aren't at home, but in public. It's not like we all wear shirts that say, I have a child with autism. So it's you know, sometimes looked at as just a misbehaved child or a, um, a parent who doesn't discipline. And uh, that's probably the hardest thing that you have to deal with. As the sun goes down, the Leachmans practice one more routine. Dinner around the table, thankful for life, family, and of course, Cameron. The dynamic that he's brought to the house is, is amazing. Um, it's, it's made it made it home. Yes. Now it's incredible to see what these families go through every day and though it was only just a few minutes hopefully you got an idea of what life 
is like for them. Now you heard John hit on just a few of the problems raising an autistic child. Next Thursday night, I'll be going in depth with families from all over Northwest Arkansas about their struggles from finances uh, to the divorce rate, including some problems which go unnoticed altogether. Problems like this one from John. As a dad, uh, you look at your, you know, for me, my future Razorback or my future uh, Dallas Cowboy, uh, you know, someone I'm going to take hunting, fishing, um, do all those father-son things. And, and when we first got that diagnosis, I considered myself robbed. I unfortunately allowed myself to, to mire in my own self-pity for um, uh, an extended amount of time before realizing that uh, it's not about me, you know, it's, it's, it's about Cameron and it's about, you know, what I can do for him. Yeah, it's the type of stuff you don't think about these parents going through, but it's the reality, Matt. That's right. You're showing us the reality. A great, great series, JR. Yeah, thank you. And you can watch this three more times the rest of the month in February. Yeah, that's right. So tune in at 10 o'clock for KNWA. Great to meet Cameron and his family.